All right, here we are, uh, end of day five. It's uh, January 1st here, New Year's Day. It's dark now, but um, we got the third injector out and it, I mean, it was seized in there. We broke the, we ended up bringing the threads off, the whole top of the injector off with the, with the slide hammer. Um, and before we broke that off, we had tried, I'll show you the contraption we built. We built this thing <clears throat> and threaded on there and we used a block over here and we um, used a little jack to try to jack it out to get the pressure on there to jack that up out of there. And it wouldn't work, couldn't get the injector out. It's been, it took it probably four hours total to get that out just today. Um, and uh, we were able to hammer a socket on once that top piece with the line goes on was broken off. We were able to hammer a socket on there and then to get it broken free and wiggle it back and forth and just dump tons of penetrating oil on there and just work it back and forth, back and forth for like 25, 30 minutes. Then we got a pry bar and we were able to slowly work it back and forth uh, while my brother pried upward on it. And we were able to get it out finally. Um, so the injectors were not the problem. Um, so the next step is to, you know, there's no restriction in the fuel system. The new fuel filter, the fuel separator and everything's clean. So we are going to test the fuel pumps, fuel pressure, but nobody has a tester for that in stock. Harbor Freight doesn't have one in the tri-state area with their new Icon kit. And no, none of the local tool shops carry diesel testers. They're all um, for gas machines. Uh, gas engines not gas machines but anyway <clears throat> so as the diesel pressure tester goes way higher than the gas one um so, so we, have, we need this contraption right here this this threaded on the end of the injector and then we were jacking on it to try to pull the injector out let's see where that injector is the broken one where's that broken injector at thought it was left right here somewhere um what the hell maybe it's in this pile that's not the broken one there where's the broken injector um i just wanted to show you guys the the way it broke I know I brought it in here, set it down somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, so the fuel line broke off. It was pretty rusty in there. Not sure what was going on in that situation, but. So we got this socket hammered on there. It's a 12 point and it's a 15 mil. It fit real tight, so we hammered it on there. We took the breaker bar and worked it back and forth, back and forth. Meanwhile, keeping this hammered all the way down so we had good bite. And then uh, Brother Tack welded a tack weld right there where he was able to put a pry bar. And then I was working it back and forth while he kept the pry bar pressure pressured up. And we were able to do that. So <clears throat> got that out. That's good. Um, like I said, I don't have the right kit to test the fuel pressure. Uh, so we are going to start tomorrow. We're going to pull the valve cover. We're going to check the valve clearances because that, that puffing that it's doing could be a valve out of adjustment on one of the cylinders or more than one of the cylinders. Um, and then hopefully we can get the engine running right. If it's not the valves, I don't think it would be the piston ring since the blow-by is very minimal. Um, and it doesn't smoke out of the port uh, oil fill there, valve cover. Uh, so I don't think that's an issue. But I, I still have the tester coming for the compression testing, you know, on its way. Uh, so we'll check that when it gets here. But like I said, we're just working with what we got. So I'll send another update once we get uh, further along here with this Yanmar engine on the TV138FR. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want.